think it is, sir. The drown one. They just don't make pharmacists like they used to. Oh, I no. remember in the old days, you'd get a pharmacist on this boat, and they would snatch the jaws off of them. He'd young buck. Nice fish, sir. Yeah. And you were bad mouthing your fish. Oh. Away they go. All right, well, this is John Martin coming to you live from Hubbard's Marina, Madeira Beach, Florida. We're about to go out on an April Fool's trip. 39 hour trip, see if we can fool a few big gags, not gags, but groups of red groupers, and mangoes and whatnot. Where are you coming from to make this trip? Wisconsin. Wisconsin with the W there, eh? First time on the boat, or you been out here before? First time on this boat. Oh, okay. Well, good luck to you. Yep, never had it. Welcome to the free state of Florida. Thank you. For sure. Beat him. here on the very first spot of this 39 hour April Fool's trip. I hope the fish don't play jokes on us. Y'all ready to get them? Man's got something big on. Friends are telling him to hurry up. Cleaning out a little bit. This is where I caught a big cobia, the captain said about two months ago. Yeah, John had him a big cobia. Maybe he's got one on here. It's cleaning out a little bit, more than a shark. Yeah. I hope it's not a shark, but if it is, we want him to smile. This guy's got a pulling rod. Let's go over it. It's a trans, it's a trans. It's a big one. It is, a, I'm pretty sure it is a sandbar. There, he's smiling, he's smiling. What you want? What I wanted right there. Right. Got him to smile. Good job, sir. Good job. Woo! That looks like fun. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the luxurious Gulf of Mexico. It's one of our regulars, Mr. Martin. Don't pull right there. Don't pull, don't pull. Don't Crush, pull. Crushing hey, some fish. Up. Slack, slack up, slack up, stand by. It's probably an amber jack, which I'm a month early for. I think the season opens next month. I think it's a little bit yeah. corky. I caught one earlier, <laughs> so I probably got another one off. This is the exciting part of the Gulf of Mexico. You never know what you're going to catch. That it's a crapshoot. You do not know. Will Martin land the fish? Tune in next week, kids, for the adventures of... I can get out through all these lines. Hold on, guys, hold on. That hook is right, right around me. Yeah, it is. Oh, it shut off on me. I'm gonna you know, wait till you get colored. If, you, if that red light's on, it's still it's on. It's still filming? Yeah, if that red light in the okay. corner's on. All right. It just goes through the power go. Thank you. Got it. My guess is still an AJ. Well, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, a week later, still fighting this fish with Far with John Martin. Here he comes. Look at the size of this jack. That is a good one. All right, right there. That would have been a keeper too, huh? He'd be right on there. Yes, sir. How do you feel about that, sir? Well, I wish it was something I could keep now, but I'm gonna let him go and tell him to come back and I'll see him again sometime. 
All right. Thank you, good, sir. Good deal. Cool. And back he goes. We'll see you in a few weeks. There you go. Yeah. Thank you, sir. <laughs> See. I believe that's what it is. A An ocean liner. That's a pretty decent one. You can see they're catching quite a few big bee liners on this stuff. Throw this one on it is sir a kingfish a blackfin a wahoo wabanita it might be it it might be one of those funny funny tunas you got me out of bed so i hope it's good oh, no. what now it better be good. i said you got me out of bed it better be good he's a drowned one They just don't make pharmacists like they used to. Oh, I remember in the old days, you'd get a pharmacist on this boat and they would snatch the jaws off of them. He's young but high. That's a black man. It's a black man. Black man, though. Good. Let, let me have him. Anybody that's here, I'll walk Nice fish, sir. Yeah. And you were bad mouth with your fish. I was. Oh, that's nice. Keep walking, keep walking. Yeah, I got some real rod my way. gentlemen this is just about going to do it there's a few hardy souls out here still hanging in there i don't know how if you can see but the weather's been rainy and the winds died down quite a bit but it's pretty much been raining since about noon today and i'm going to wrap it up i'm not going to be on the bow like i usually am because it's a bit nasty out there So overall, it was a pretty solid trip. The uh, the fish bit real good last night. Pretty good this morning. We if, if we could have kept everything that we caught, we would have had a jam up trip. We caught some nice red snappers and some gags. But there's several real nice uh, red grouper on the boat. Lots of big, big bee liners and quite a few nice mangoes were caught on the first night. Not really much during the day. And then, of course, there's Leo, who tore him up, as usual. But hopefully we won't have too bumpy a ride home. And I'll see you back at the dock. All right. Tammy's getting ready to, uh, she's got supper ready, and she's going to give me my supper, and I really appreciate it. What we got here tonight, Tammy? We have Cajun fried chicken, not fried, but Cajun chicken with yellow rice and cheese and carrots. A meal fit for a king. Yeah. And uh, gourmet cookies. Sounds good. Well, thank you very much for all you do. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you, John. And then there's Leo! Good Lord. Yes, it's Leo. I mean, is there a sexier man alive than Leo? Oh, John,
Tons of fish. Buckets of fish. under here waiting to be cleaned up are you going to be doing fish cleaning sir yes sir all right look at that show off This smoker king weighs, or we're gonna to try to. <laughs> that one right there for that tournament yesterday. Yeah. Right? I yeah. See nothing close to that. You need a boost up, Captain Brian? I'm not sure I had it zero. That's a uh, 45.98. It might not have been zero. I think he's bigger now. Let's pick him up, Danny. Okay. Down for a second. Hang on, he's gonna try it again. Seventy-three point eight. 45-40. Our eyes are always bigger than ours. Oh yeah, they're always bigger when they come out. Still a nice one. Still a nice one. Still a fine. Still would have won the money in the big kingfish tournament. Yeah, you like, know. All right, well that's going to do it for the 39-hour full moon. Or not full moon, April Fool's Day trip. But no trip, as I say, would be complete. Without the lovely ladies of Hubbard's Marina. No trip would be complete without the lovely ladies of Hubbard's Marina. <laughs>